Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Page and Wick boxes here. Yay! I've been waiting for this for ages because every actually had it last week um, and then decided not to deliver it last week. Um, they were going to then deliver it on Saturday and then didn't. And then I've been like anxiously tracking it today because they were like, oh yeah, it's going to come at this time. And then they pushed it back by an hour. And then an hour later, they're like, mm, we might not be able to deliver it today. So luckily, it's here. And the theme of the March box was Tethered by Blood. Um, we've got like the weird packaging again, but it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Let's uh, bust out the book. We have also got bubble wrap as well, which is going to please people because everyone that I know oh, hate how that stuff feels. Loves bubble wrap. Ooh, this is looking so pretty so far already. Okay. We have got Sky of Fire by Madeline Carr. And we've got some very nice colours on the front. I love that edge. On the back, we've got One Night Can Set the World Ablaze. And the sprayed edges, look at them. They are just so pretty. Page and Wick is fast becoming one of my favourite boxes. Like, they just go all out. Like, they hit the ground running. Oh, wow, look at this. They just hit the ground running with all of their books. Um, and they never stopped. So what have we got? A Witch's Grimoire Spell Compendium. Oh. And then on the back, the art of using mental majory to compare a... Oh, to conjure a temporary gateway between two places. Recite this spell in a quiet place. Masters and more powerful witches may not need to say the words aloud. And I can't read that because it's in Latin and it's squiggly writing for words. This is the artwork we've got on the front. Is it the same on the back? Yeah, it's the same on the back, which is totally fine. It is also signed by the author, which is amazing. Do we have an inbound letter? Yes, we do. Okay, so we'll get on to that in a minute. I'm just going to pop this back on. Not very successfully. Oh, very unsuccessfully. There we go. Okay, so let's find out about this book. Uh, exiled from her home, Elia, a half-witch, half-fae, conceals a deadly magic in her father's sun-drenched empire. Seeking freedom from the shackles of royal life, her fae half-sister half Sarah leads them to, free, to the free city of Nazra. But when rebellion strikes, their world is shattered. Amid the chaos, the bearer of death lurks in the shadows. Bound to kill for his cruel king. His job is simple. Assassinate the witch, Elea Feralis. But an unforeseen rogue ma magic has other plans. After accidentally binding her life to the fey assassin who tried to kill her, Elea must survive a new recruit in the as a new recruit in the brutal guild of Crua. Meanwhile, Sarah searches for refuge and freedom in the most prestigious siren house in Varium, where beauty is both addictive and deceiving. As the sisters face separate paths, their brother Adrian, born and raised to be emperor, will do anything to find them, including venture into the rebellion. But as greater evil merges, only the fates will decide who lives and who dies. This sounds interesting. Okay. Looking forward to reading this. Very, very interesting. I, I feel like this is going to be enemies to lovers again, but yeah, still should be good. Should be good. So let's find out a little bit about the author. Madeline, Maddie, is an English author who loves slow burn romances, in-depth characters and tragic backstories. Maddie discovered her love for writing and fantasy when she was in school and has carried her dream of becoming an author with her ever since. She attended university for six years, firstly studying screenwriting and film and then focusing on fi fiction writing for her master's degree. When she isn't writing, she is likely curled up with her two cocker spaniels reading a good book or imagining new worlds through digital illustrations. Right. I'm excited for this. Oh, they're just... The pages are so pretty. So, on to the author's letter. 
Dear Page and Wick readers, from when I was young and obsessed with Doctor Who and those rainbow magic books, there was something in me that craved to not only live inside stories, but to tell them too. So after years and years of thinking about writing a book, I finally took that childhood dream and moulded it into Sky of Fire. I wish I could say the story behind Sky of Fire came to me suddenly and it was magically mapped out in my head, but it was a gradual process. The more I wrote, the more ideas sprung up and I went back and forth a thousand times in a pure chaotic fashion, with deepest apologies to my editor, until finally it all came together. What I didn't realise then was that it would become so much more than writing a book for me. I began to struggle with agoraphobia five years ago, and as that intensified, so did my love of writing. Not only was I no longer alone, but I could live somewhere else and be someone else, and that was the real joy of writing this book. The years of world building, edits and drafts were worth it, because I can now look at this book and be proud of something new come of those dark times. I am so incredibly grateful to be able to share this world with you all. The story is really about people and how we are all flawed and not only are these characters fighting magical monsters but also the ones in their head. So welcome to my other place. I hope you love it as much as I loved creating it. Maddie. Oh I'm looking forward to it. I love these edges. Oh my gosh. Okay let's look at the candle because that's my other addiction. Again in this like horrible brown paper stuff okay i love the candles that they do so much i still haven't burnt my mount tucker ub one because i love it so much i don't want to use it um i know i'm gonna have to at some point so this one is shadow of cruel the bearer of death and let's see oh my god oh my god that smells amazing oh Oh, I like that. This is probably going to be another one that I don't want to burn. Where do I put the card? Oh my god. Oh, that smells so good. I love it. Okay. So. Does it tell us what the candle is? Yes, it will do. So, the Page and Wick exclusive cover and paper artwork design by at Cludy underscore art underscore. A digital sprayed four edge design by Alessa's World with a book sprayed and bottom edge as well as full colour design with four embellishments on the hardcover and dust jacket by our in-house designer. And it, there'll be an inbound letter which we know. So then the candle is a captivating oriental composition. Begins with citrus undertones unfolding into a floral core of rose, jasmine, opulent saffron, the journey concludes with a sensuous base of patchouli, ode, amber, leather, vanilla, and musk. That is why I like it so much, because it's got all of my favourite smells in it. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to burn this. Page and Wick need to start selling the candles separately, I swear to god, because I would spend so much money on just the candles alone. Like, I would actually drop so much money on them. I'm excited to read this. I have got a huge a huge stack but I have started reading through my monthlies so I'm currently reading through the fairy loot one then it's going to be the Illumicrate, Locked Library and then Page and Wick but I'll get through them eventually. I didn't read as much as I'd hoped that I would on my week off um, but I will get around to it and I will post a review on my website. You can find that using the link below. Oh it's just so pretty. I love the Page and I love the Page and Wick box so much like it has honestly become one of my favourites like possibly the favourite um because i love candles so much um so yeah like i said it's a buy it's it's bi-monthly so it's a little bit more affordable um it gives you time to burn through the candles unless you're like me and hoard them um and it's just a good box overall like like I said at the start, they have constantly done amazing things with their sprayed edges. They're also about to have, well, I say about to, but in May, they're going to be having their first ever, like, outside sale. So, like, not leftover stock, but they're doing their first ever special edition that is outside of subscriptions. I think for 8th of May, it is open to active subscribers. And then 9th of May, it goes to general public if they have any leftover um definitely go and show them some support because it is such a great box um I love the fact that it's a book and a candle you don't always with some of the other boxes that have more items than just a book sometimes you just end up with junk 
Um, sometimes you can sell it, sometimes no one buys it and you end up just chucking it away or hoarding it. Um, so it's just nice to have a book, but also have something inspired and tied to the book and something that I would use definitely. And like, who doesn't love a candle? Let's be real. Um, go and show them some love on their social media. I think they are expanding their slots because they've just moved to a distributor, which is why every is now doing the delivery rather than Royal Mail. So I think the plan is to open up some more slots, but definitely go on the wait list if you can. Um, I think they do international shipping. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. You'd have to double check on their website. Um, but they are just a great company. I love them. Um, yeah, so that is this month's page and wick box. If you like this video, please drop a like and a subscribe. Um, if you subscribe and hit the notification button, um, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. And I will see you for the next unboxing.